Hey guys, welcome back to another Manager 4 tutorial and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic ammo system and in this example it's going to be a ray gun so we're going to have charge on it but it's going to work the same way if we have ammo if we're shooting it's going to go down when we're not it's going to go back up so it'll recharge as well you don't need to pick anything up and then for this as well I'm also going to be creating a full auto system just so I can really test it out so it works great so we're going to be making ammo, the ray gun charge, drain, regen all of that good stuff as well as full auto and being able to toggle between full auto and single fire so I'll show you what this is going to look like now. So as you see on the right, our ammo is going up. If I hit fire, it's going to be going down. And if it reaches all the way down to zero, what we'll see is that we should stop firing automatically. And we can't fire, it's going to go back up. Now we can start firing again. And when it gets all the way up to the top, it's going to stop. If I hit B, we're just going to be single fire. So if I hold it, nothing's going to happen. It's going to be a single fire. Our ammo is going to go down, also go back up as well. And we can just toggle between these very easily. And you can also change how fast the ammo increases, how fast it decreases, how fast this full auto is. All of this stuff is fully customizable for you, so you can change it to get it perfect for you. So I'll delete this code and I'll show you what we're going to do. So now that I've deleted everything, we're going to get into it. So our first step is going to be to open up our character blueprint. So for me, it's going to be first person character, it's going to be content, first person BP, blueprints, first person character. We'll open that up and we have this code here. What we're going to do is we're going to create a few custom events first so that we can actually be able to call these different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down underneath the spawn projectile here. You should have this. It might look a little bit different, but that's just because I've increased this comment and moved some stuff down. But it's the exact same. I haven't added anything or taken anything away. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go underneath this into some space, right click, and we're going to add a custom event. So add a custom event like that. And I'm going to call this one drain ammo. And as you can tell, this is how we're going to be draining the ammo of the player. So to do this, we need to create a few variables. So the first one we're going to make is we'll hit the plus variable there. And this one is going to be called is shooting question mark. Compile that by default. That's going to be false. Obviously, this is if the player is shooting or not. And we'll set that in a bit. Then we'll create another variable. This one is going to be called ammo. And this one is going to be an integer as it's a numerical value. Obviously, that's the amount of ammo the player has. And we'll get another one. Call this one max ammo. Again, an integer. Compile that. And I'm going to set the max ammo to be 100. This is obviously the maximum amount of ammo the player can hold. And actually, I'll also set the ammo default value to be around 50, so we have some, but not full. So compile, save that. So now we have our first few variables that we'll need to use. So here, under the drain ammo, what we want to do is we want to drain the ammo if we're shooting and we have enough ammo to be shooting with. So to do that, we're going to get the is shooting boolean there. So drag and drop it in, get. Come out of this and go into an and boolean. So if this and something else is true, and the other one, is our ammo. So we drag and drop our ammo in, get ammo, and this is going to be if the ammo is greater than an integer, so an integer is greater than an integer, plug into the end, and we're going to leave it as zero. So if our ammo is above zero and we're shooting, we're going to be able to drain our ammo. As obviously we have enough ammo and we're using it. So now if we hold down B, left click to get a branch, plug that into the executable of the custom event there, and the condition is this and boolean there. So the branch is how we're checking to see if this is true. So if it is true, so if we are shooting and we have enough ammo, we want to drain it. If it's false, we don't want to do anything. So we'll leave false as it is. True, we're going to hold down D, left click to get a delay, plug that in there. And this delay is how quickly your ammo is going to drain. So this is the first part, sorry, of how quickly it's going to drain. So I'm going to set this to 0 0.3 seconds. You can set that to whatever you like. After this, we're going to set the ammo. So I'm going to drag and drop the ammo on the completed there to set it. In here, what I'm going to do, I'm also going to get ammo there, so drag and drop, get, and I'm just getting integer minus an integer. So an integer minus an integer, plug the return value of that into the ammo there. In this bottom value, this is how much you want to decrease it by as well. So I'm going to set that to 4. Again, whatever you like. So this delay is how quickly it's going to decrease. This integer minus integer is how much it's going to decrease by. So change these two values here to get it perfect for you. So after this, what I want to do is hold down B, left click again to get another branch. The condition of this is going to be seeing if this ammo has gone below zero. So what we do is we just come out the return value of that, and we'll get a less than integer. So an integer is less than an integer, leaving that at zero. So basically, when we're decreasing our ammo, if it's gone below zero, what we want to do is we just want to set it back to zero. So we'll get our ammo, drag it onto true, and set that to zero. So basically, so if we're taking away from our ammo, it goes to like minus three or something, we're going to set it back to zero. So this is going to work a lot better for us. And then after this, what we want to do is we just want to call function drain ammo like that. So it's just going to put this into a loop and it will constantly do this until we are either not shooting or we don't have enough ammo as we need both of those to be true to do everything else. So we have that there. We also want to plug that into the false of this branch because all this branch is doing is it's resetting the value to zero if we need it. But then once it is zero, you can see it's going to 
come back in, and it's not going to go to the zero, so it'll just come out false. So what this is doing is if we are shooting and we have enough ammo, it's going to decrease it. If that goes below zero, it'll set it to zero, and then redo this. And you can see it's just going to constantly do this until one of these is false. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this, hit C to comment it, I'm just going to call this one Drain Ammo, like that, so we know exactly what it's doing. Then underneath this, we're going to create another custom event, so this one's going to be the Refill. So we'll right click, get a custom event, and this one is going to be called Refill, or Regenerate Ammo, like so. Now with this one, you don't need to do it this way, you can have a pickup if you wanted, it'll be a very similar way of doing it, but this is obviously going to be a bit different. So the way we're going to do this is slightly different to this. So we're going to come under, we're going to get the ammo, so drag and drop ammo, get. This one we're going to come out of this and we're going to get a less than integer. So an integer is less than an integer and this is going to be if it's less than the max ammo. So drag and drop your max ammo in there like so. This is again going to go into another and boolean. So if this and something else is true. And again this is going to be get is shooting. Come out of this, get an equal equal boolean and leave that unticked. So if this is false and plug that into the end. So basically if our ammo is less than our max ammo and we are not shooting, we're going to be regenerating our ammo. So this is obviously going to go into a branch, so hold on B, left click, plug that in there, and condition into there like so. I'll just move this up like that. So like I say, if our ammo is less than our max ammo and we're not shooting, we'll regenerate. So for false, we don't want to do anything, as that will then cancel and end the loop that we're going to make, same as it did up here. And what we're going to do is out of true, we're going to again get another delay, so hold on D, left click, to get a delay like so. Exact same way we did it up here. So this one I'm going to set to 0.3, and this is how fast you want it to decrease by. Then underneath this, we're going to get ammo. Come out of this, and this time we're going to get an integer plus an integer. Again, change this to what you want. So I'm going to set this to 7. And this is how much it's going to increase by. So this delay is how fast it will increase. This is how much it will increase by. Now of this, we're going to just going to set ammo like so, plugging that into the delay there. So now I'm going to have my ammo increasing by 7 every 0.3 seconds. In the same way we checked here to see if it was less than 0, here we want to see if it's above our max ammo. So we're going to come out of this, we're going to get a greater than, so an integer is greater than an integer, with the bottom value being our max ammo, like so. And then that's going to go into another delay once again, the condition is that, like that. If this is true, so our ammo has gone above our max ammo, we just want to set this back to our max ammo. So what we're going to do is get our ammo, put that on true to set it, and then just drag max ammo in there to set it back like that. So again, we're just going to be resetting our ammo to be the maximum amount it can be if it accidentally went over. And this again, the same way we did up here, we're then just going to put this into a loop. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out of this, call function, refill ammo, like that. So it's then just going to come back to the start and loop this. So if our ammo is less than our max ammo and we're not shooting, every 0.3 seconds we're going to add 7 to our ammo. If that goes above our max ammo, we'll set it back to the maximum that it can be and continually loop that until one of these isn't true, i.e. if we either start shooting again or our ammo is full. So I'm going to select this, hit C to comment it, and call this one refill ammo, like so. And now we'll come back down here later and make another one, but for the moment this is done. So we can compile and save that. Then what we want to do is we want to actually implement these refill and drain ammo things into our shooting code. So again, in the first person character, or wherever you have your shooting code, we're going to come up and find this. So for me, this is going to be spawn projectile, and you should have this exact code. Again, I've just moved it to space it out a bit more and increase the comment size. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here to our input action fire, or wherever you are initiating the shooting, and we're just going to move that out a little bit to give us some space. Off of pressed, what we're going to do is we want to set our is shooting boolean that we made here. So set that to true and keep that going to the montage. Off of false, we want to set that to be false. So off of released, sorry, we want to set it to false. So when we start shooting, it's going to be true. When we stop shooting, it'll be false. So we compile that. And then at the very end of the code, what we want to do is we want to come over here. So there's one more step over here, sorry. So off of the set is shooting to false, when I come out of that, I want to call the function refill ammo. So then when we stop shooting, we're going to start refilling. And now if we go over to the end of the code here, so out of the play sound location, we want to call function drain ammo. So when we're shooting, we're draining. When we're not shooting, we're refilling. So if we compile and save that. What I'm going to do to test this is I'm just going to add some print strings down here. So I just right click, print string, plug that into both of these, and the in string is just going to be our ammo there. Well, I won't get that one actually, I'll just get the ammo like so. So we compile, save. Now we should be able to test this. So we minimize, hit play, you see nothing's happening. Although we did set our ammo to be 50 
it isn't regenerating. So one thing we need to do again, sorry, is if we go up to the top of our code where we have event begin play. So we have event begin play here. I'm just going to move this out. Hold down S, left click to get a sequence so I can do multiple things off here. Then zero will go into the code we already have. Then one will refill ammo. So essentially what we're doing is we're just going to be refilling our ammo at the very start of the game if we don't have enough. So again, if you don't want that to happen, you don't have to do it. And then there's also one other thing we need to do as well actually. So if we double click this, we can go back down to our refill ammo. One thing we missed was on this branch here, I want to put the false into refill ammo as well. So what we're doing is like we did up here, the only reason we're setting this is to reset this to the max ammo. So if it's true, we set it to that. Refill, if it's false, we'll just refill. So we compile, save, minimize, we see this working. So you can see it's going to be increasing all the way up to 100 like that as we had 50, so it's less than our max and we're not shooting. If we shoot, it's going to be going down and then increasing back up. Now this doesn't work too well because obviously this is just a single fire. So it's going to be going back up straight away, which is why I've set up the full auto function as well. So as you can see, that is working so far. We are draining and refilling our battery on our gun or our charge or ammo, whatever you want to call it, when we need to. So I think I'll probably leave that there for this episode. So this is going to be a two-part series, so I'll upload the next episode tomorrow, where we're going to be finishing this off, fixing some of the bugs, which aren't really bugs, but we just haven't finished off the code yet. So we're going to be doing that tomorrow. The only reason I split this into two parts was because when I actually edited this, it was like 30 minutes long. So I thought I split it into 11 minutes and 16 minutes instead of 27. So that just seems a lot better and a lot more reasonable for you to understand if you to get everything in. So I hope that's all right. I hope that helps and I hope that's better for you. So yeah, I'm going to leave that up here for today. We'll be back with it tomorrow. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.